hey guys welcome back to the channel um just here to do a quick video about um being a pharmacy technician oh my god this whole necklace so um for those that are new welcome don't forget to subscribe comment if you feel like it um and for those that have been here and keep watching thanks for coming back thanks for listening and um yeah give it a thumbs up if you like this video or if you think it's informative. So basically, I wanted to do a video to share my experience about what it's like being a pharmacy technician and what to expect in a job setting. So if you haven't been following the videos that I've made about going to school as a pharmacy technician and what to expect in the school setting, um, go ahead and find those videos in my videos. I will say I put the link, but then I may say that and then not do it. So just all my videos, there should be one um, that you can find um wasn't hard it was easy to me but i just kind of like learning and then my professor made it an easy busy process because he was thorough and straight to what i needed to learn um the only bad thing that i have to say about that is that once you are in school because you do need to be in school in order to get certified um you know you will think they will have well with the program i had they had an internship or an externship but due to covid because it was really at the beginning of all of that um we couldn't get to it and we it had we had to like simulate it we couldn't even tour a pharmacy at all so that left me with like literally no experience and not knowing how it was in the field once you get out there um which is the reason why i'm making this video so if you're thinking about becoming a pharmacy technician or thinking about or your daughter is saying or your son or somebody that you know is saying hey you know i thought about this career what about that um for one i don't recommend it so it really depends on what you want to be doing I, for one, wanted to be in a hospital setting, but the certification I got was more likely for retail. Um, so make sure you know which certification you're going to get depending on the setting you want to go to. So my comparison or what I am going to say will be most likely for a retail pharmacy, which um, just to list a few, Kroger's, Walmart, Target, CVS, Walgreens, Rite Aid, I know I'm cracking my fingers, um, Publix. Any supermarket that has a pharmacy in there that will be considered retail a lot of traffic um, you deal with a lot of people so one of the main things that I do want to say is you're standing up a lot there's no chance for you to sit down unless you're in a really slow pharmacy which I doubt it because right now with COVID and any any and all of these other diseases and people catching blood clots and strokes and all of this stuff medications are being put out very often so you're gonna be standing seven 10 hour shifts depending on how long your shift is including the pharmacist will be standing um there's no chairs in a pharmacy at all at all you may squat down you may walk around but at the same time most likely you're going to be standing in one spot for a long period of time because you have one customer after the next after the next after the next there's going to be a ton of vaccinations being done i never thought i thought all the vaccinations people get them at their pediatrician or doctor's offices there is a ton of people who will come to the pharmacy just for vaccinations and now with covid testing there is a ton of people i'm talking about 40 60 covid tests being done daily so and there's like i said one to the next to the next to the next there's no time to stop you're supposed to be getting 15 minute breaks here and there like in any job that's completely out the window there even if you wanted to there's no chance for you to be like you know what i'm taking a break and usually they're understaffed just like any jobs right now are understaffed but they're still understaffed even before covid because um or maybe they just didn't have enough hours i'm not completely sure but you would never have like five people in one day in one shift working in the pharmacy which kind of sucks because like i said if you have to go to the bathroom the patient's waiting and they're not understanding everything that goes beyond or behind you know the window and drive through or right there while they're waiting you have people that will come and say hey i want to get a shot but then they don't want to wait the 45 minute wait that they have to because it is a process so a lot of tent lot of standing no seating um barely any peeing breaks barely any breaks at all um the only break you do get is your lunch break if you're lucky and um, a lot of rude customers, tons of rude customers, people who don't understand, people who are sick, they're in pain, they just came out of surgery, people who have to go to surgery and they need their medication, doctors telling the, the patients one thing and then the patients hearing something else, insurance information not being properly or correct or given, 
um, you will see a ton of people getting medications for their animals. That was one new thing to me, but it definitely something to think about because if you don't want to work with people, rude people at that, um, in a fast paced industry, you should not consider doing pharmacy technician. It is fast, it is limited, um, and you are definitely always doing something. There is a lot of paperwork that comes with it too, whether you're vaccinating or doing a COVID testing, everything has to be put in the system as a prescription. So it's a lot of paperwork, data entry. Um, you have to learn the systems in whichever pharmacy you end up working, which could take a while. And most of the time, these pharmacies are not training properly because they don't have the time between prescriptions, calling doctors, calling emergency rooms, um, also laws changes and a lot of people come with you know handwritten prescriptions and we can't do them because their doctor have to send it electronically so um a lot of that going on if you don't like people if you don't want to talk to anybody if you don't want to deal with rude customers be sending a lot of times not being able to take a break um some people may not get weekends off um, so if you're not flexible, do not consider this career at this point. Um, I was only doing it because I needed one class for a different thing and ended up finishing the program. I was like, oh, that's cool. That's not bad. Um, but after working, I've realized that it's really not ideal. You do get exposed with COVID and, you know, given shots because now due to COVID, a lot of technicians are being trained to give vaccinations um, so that the pharmacists have more time to verify the drugs, call the um, doctors and the physicians and the emergency rooms and verify all this information that sometimes has to get verified. So um, that's basically most of what I can tell you as a pharmacy technician, what you will be dealing with and expecting. And, you know, there's a lot of the, the people expect a lot from you without knowing what you're capable of doing. Um, then at the same time, the technicians are really limited to what they can do if the pharmacist is not there or it's on break. Um, you know, you can't sell things behind the counter. You cannot give shots. You cannot do COVID testings. People don't understand that. So definitely if you have, if you love people, this is the job for you. If you don't stay away from it. Um, if you don't know how to deal with rude people or people who cannot hear, people who sometimes want to just talk, this is also not the job for you. You have people who sometimes just don't have anything else to do and they come tell your whole story while they're picking up the prescriptions. Um, you know, there's a lot of overly explaining yourself sometimes too and letting them know what goes on and what process it is and some people may not understand. Um, a lot of 15 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour away. You know, you have people who know how it works and they come back, they drop it off, they come back later. You have other people who are not patient and they're like, my doctor just got out of my doctor's appointment. Um, they just send it over and they still haven't sent it over. So it is a process between the doctor's office and the pharmacy. Um, anyhow, hopefully this has been helpful for somebody who is looking to get into the field. Um, I personally don't recommend it. I do still do pharmacy technician as a part-time. Um, it's not really a career of choice that I want. Um, I also study um, medical coding, but also decided that that was not for me. So anyhow, let me know if you have any other questions. I can do a part two of this video. Put it in the comment um, box. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.